Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And for quick tip number 12, I've decided to talk about this new web browser that I just found. Um, it is called Blisk, and you can get access to it at blisk.io. And I'll leave a link to it in the, in the description area below. Um, it is a free web browser, and it was made, or it's made mainly for web developers, but anyone using Adobe Muse can find it very useful as well. Um, so here is the website. This is the home page and if you click on product um, you can download Blisk. It is for Windows and Mac and you can watch a video here on uh, the web browser. Uh, so this is the website and I'll just open it here because I've already uh, downloaded it and, and installed it. Um, so just as a quick example of what this uh, web browser does, I'll go to muse for you. Um, I'll just go to the shop actually, museforyoushop.com. And as we can see, it shows you uh, the, the mobile version of the website. And here on the right, it shows you the, the browser or the desktop version of the site. And you can choose from all of these phones. You can choose iPhone 4, iPhone 5, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 7. Um, and let me just click there. Uh, iPhone 7, was that just there? Yeah, here we go. iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, Nokia N9, Samsung Galaxy S3, Samsung Galaxy S4, and there's just a lot of phones here, so I think I passed it. So yeah, Samsung Galaxy S5, Samsung Galaxy S6, uh, Samsung Galaxy, Galaxy S6 Edge, uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 5, LG G3, Google Nexus 4, Google Nexus 6, then we have the iPad mini, iPad Air Retina, Google Nexus 7, and Google Nexus 10. Uh, so what's, what's great about this web browser is not only can you check your site on all, all of these devices, if you scroll here in the desktop version, it scrolls also on the device. So if I click here, let me just go to, let's say I go to the circle border hover box. So I can use the desktop version or the mobile version here to click or touch with the, uh, the touch option here. Um, or I can uh, go here on the desktop version. So here we can preview. So this is what this site looks like um, on the this tablet here. Or I can see on my desktop version how it looks here as well. So I can pick any phone, iPhone 5, same thing. This is how it looks like on an iPhone 5. And there we go. So with the, with with breakpoints and building a responsive website in Adobe Muse or a fluid width website, uh, you can easily check how it will look across multiple devices using the Blisk web browser. Uh, so I just recently found this web browser and I think it could be really useful for anyone using Adobe Muse. Um, you can also change the orientation of the device and look, on, look at the device uh, with the or orientation changed. Um, there's a few other options here. You can disable the uh, the phone view here, just like that. Um, it'll tell you if there's any errors on the site. Um, you can check out some other things. Um, this is mostly for developers and things like that. Uh, but with Adobe Muse, it's, uh, it's a really great way to see how your website will look on different devices. And you can take a screenshot, I think. Um, yeah, you can take a screen capture uh, here, I believe and it says enable premium maps, but you can look into that. Um, again, it's blisk.io. Uh, so you can just go and I could do it with this web browser here. Um, and actually another fun thing I can do, I'll just go to awards.com and we can just check out some of the sites here real quick. Um, so here we'll go to this first one and we'll take a look. So you can take a look at other sites on mobile. So there we go. And just check out some really cool sites just like that so you can see it on desktop and mobile um, so that's it for this video tutorial um, again it's uh, blisk.io and uh, you can download it it's free for Mac and Windows um, and I'll leave a link to it in the description area below. So that's it for quick tip number 12, using the Blisk web browser to check your website on different uh, mobile devices and tablet devices. Uh, so again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.